All right, ladies, buckle up. It's showtime. Showtime! It's showtime, everybody! It's showtime! Showtime. It's showtime! First I saw the rock. Now it's showtime. It's showtime. comic chest to the new theme for the month and this month's theme is showtime movies tv shows showtimes you can see i'm a comic book nerd but uh i'm a movie guy too if you've seen any of my other videos on my channel love me some movies and tv so without further ado it's showtime and here's your generic list of what's inside the comic chest no spoilers here, yo. We got a first edition cover series, Trading Card Series 2. This is a comic book cover that they turned into a trading card, and I love these. Shadow Masters. What is Shadow Masters? Looks like some kind of martial arts. Damn, covers from 1989. Look at that. That's like a, what, 32 year old cover? Transferred to a card. Got some Terminator cards. We love our Terminator cards here. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Is that the police station when Arnold's screwing everything up in there? I'm assuming this might be from the future. It's like a kid, but he's a Terminator. It's really creepy, very creepy. Look at that. He's like a kid with some evil red eyes. Uh, oh man, the graphics. All right, then you got, uh, if you can't see it, it's Sarah Connor and uh, looks like Kyle Reese and the Terminator's after him. Good stuff. Some kind of computer, it says automated armory, computer stuff. Oh, Corporal Green from the future. You know, Corporal Green. Do you guys remember Corporal Green from Terminator 1? There's the, the cops that Arnold just messes up. Classic. The picture of Sarah Connor. I think that's included in like every movie. Right? Crowd cover. Says crowd cover, you got Kyle Reese there, you know, protecting himself in the crowd. I know there's candy in here, but uh, when I was shaking it earlier, I think it fell. So we'll get to the candy at some point. Let's do our comic chest cards, huh? Oh, sweet. Yeah! All right, looks like uh, Batman Returns and Demolition Man. Oh, I love Demolition Man. Can you think of a better Wesley Snipes Sylvester Stallone movie than Demolition Man? Me neither. Wesley Snipes in that movie does some of the funniest shit I think I've ever seen him do. I love Demolition Man. You will find display. Let's open up with those Demolition Man cards. Wasteland Firestorm. This is the Rebels Beneath the City. And then you got your Wesley Snipes, yes! Simon Phoenix, kicking the piss out of some cops. That's right, that's a future, baby. Got uh, Catwoman, Selena Kyle, beating up her uh, boss. I think that's the guy that tossed her out of the window in the movie. Batman being a badass. Considering that's from, uh, what, the early 90s? That's a pretty badass suit. I like that Batman suit. Yeah, Penguin. And his uh, giant rubber ducky, how about that? Classic Alfred. One of the best Alfreds, if not the best Alfred. Let's go for a vintage figure. Vintage, there it is, nicely labeled. Labeled and categorized, and it looks nice and pretty. 
It's not just tossed into a box. Okay, okay. Who we got, who we got, who? Oh, nice! Cyclops from the uh, X-Men, what, one? X-Men from 97, 98? The first X-Men movie. Yes! All right, this is from 2000, so this might be from X2. Cyclops, uh, visor list, but that's all right. Kind of creepy without the visor, right? He's got his, uh, his red eyes. They did him dirty in these movies. They kind of make Cyclops a wuss. Cyclops is an awesome character, and he's a very good leader. Kind of like how Captain America is, but, you know, he shoots portals out of his eyeballs. Because Cyclops doesn't shoot lasers out of his eyes. They're optic blasts. He's opening his eyeballs, and it opens a gate to another dimension that blasts through his sockets. I right? optic blasts. Okay, we got some hero clicks. Before I dive into the hero clicks, you might be asking, what the hell are hero clicks? Hero Clicks is a tabletop board game that you play with your nerdy friends. They're just mini action figures that you go head to head with. Once you go bouncy, bounce, 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 and face off with somebody, then you roll some dice. Then you battle it out to see who wins. Last figure standing is the figure that wins Hero Clicks. Let's go! And that is Hero Clicks. Very fun game to play. Ooh. Oh, I see the theme we got going here. It looks like I got the cast of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I had no idea these were even hero clicks. This is hilarious. So, obviously, we got the best one, Agent May. Dial on the bottom, that's how you play the game, okay? Yep, see? Dial. The dial on the bottom, that's how you play the game. All right, see? You get it? Agent May, shooting him up, kicking some ass. And then you got Nerdy Fitz, being a nerd, reading his little book laptop thing. Good old Fitz. Who would Fitz be without Simmons? And together they're called Fitz Simmons. And you got Agent Ward. Last uh, time I checked, he was kind of a douchebag on the show. Has he always been a douchebag on the show? No, he was good for a bit. And then I think he goes bad for a bit. I don't quite remember. It's been a minute since I watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But yeah, you got Agent Ward. Nice. He's like substantially, uh, Bigger than everyone else. Whoa, I found my candy. Yellow Starburst, the best Starburst, my favorite Starburst. If you don't like Yellow Starburst, send them my way. How about that? And then like last couple times, I just threw the Starburst at the camera, but then I lost one and I was really disappointed that I didn't get to eat all of them. So we're just gonna set these down gently. Collectible, seems like a Funko Pop. Ooh, fuck yeah! Oh, this is awesome! I gotta say, this is something I do love about Funkos, is that they make so many characters. You never know which one you're actually gonna get. I got Tyler Durden from Fight Club. You know, Fight Club. Tyler Durden! It's Brad Pitt! I got a Brad Pitt collectible. <laughs> Why not? I can't really see what, can you guys, here, can you see this? Can you see what the soap says in there? It's hard to see what the soap says. Maybe let's just take a closer look. It says Fight Club, yep. There you go, it says Fight Club. Tyler Durden, that is my Brad Pitt Funko Pop. That's hilarious, I love it. What is this other vintage figure, huh? What could it be? Nice, goes with the Cyclops. Got my man Wolverine. Awesome, what? What is this position? <laughs> I love it. It's permanently jumping Wolverine. A slow motion Wolverine coming to the screen like he's jumping at you. What a weird position this figure is. Is this specifically the scene when he's diving off the balcony to murder those dudes? It might be. It might be. Look at Klaus. Nice. Got some killing machines there. Does that one pop back in? Ooh, this one pops. This one pops. Snicked, snicked. Best there isn't what I do, bub. What I do isn't very nice. Oh, you know what? I think the Wolverine goes with the Cyclops. See that? 
What a team! What a team! Could I have gotten a couple figures that fit any better than this? Oh, okay, comic books. Every comic chest, you get 10 comic books. That includes one full story arc, and then you got some cool other loose issues. I don't even know if they would know that I like this movie. Very cool! I'm kind of psyched about my uh, story arc. First up, love this movie. Very underrated. The Losers. If you guys haven't seen The Losers, check it out, please. I mean, come on. You've got a movie based on a comic book that has Zoe Zaldana and Chris Evans, and they're not Marvel characters at that point. Check out The Losers. Wow, look at it. Uh, isn't this cover, like, scary? What do you make of that? This is a terrifying cover. X-Files, yo. Check out this comic grade card on the back. They even tell you what the comic's worth on the streets. Green Hornet, <laughs> yes. You know, a lot of people rag on that Green Hornet movie with Seth Rogen. I think it's funny. Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> Classic 80s movie. If you haven't seen this, also check it out. It's a trip. I didn't even know Twilight Zone made comics. I mean, I guess I didn't know Big Trouble Little China was a fucking comic either, but Twilight Zone, another fun movie. And that Twilight Zone movie from like, what, the 80s? It's cursed. It's a cursed movie. Look into it. <laughs> Sequest, yes. Love the underwater suit. And that's also the most terrifying place on Earth. The story arc I got here is called The Man with the Screaming Brain. And that is by Bruce Campbell. That's the only name I'm recognizing here. Bruce Campbell was just in the last Doctor Strange movie. He's the hot dog guy. Or he's the, the pizza balls guy. Pizza balls? Yeah, he's, he's the guy distributing balls. The pizza balls. The hot balls. And the post credit scene is him. And people don't seem to appreciate that that was a reference to Evil Dead. Sam Raimi, guys. Come on. So yeah, it looks like this is Bruce Campbell's comic book. Boom. Man with a Screaming Brain. Very uh, 50s lore there. Got kind of like a Frankenstein's monster vibe going on there. Like it. Same deal here. Got your uh, Frankenstein style guy. Is that Esmeralda from Hunchback? And then you got total Mike Mignola style. Same deal. Love it. This is great. I'm very curious about this comic. Bruce Campbell. I mean, come on. That's it for the Showtime comic chest. It was a fun movie TV filled chest. In case you're wondering what I had in there. Well, it was 10 comic books, one box collectible, two vintage action figures, a pack of Heroclix, and a pack of cards. The comic chest. If you'd like your own comic chest, there's links in the description. It's very easy to get one and they're very cool people. They do have a monthly theme every month. You can go with that or they'll make a custom box for you too. That's pretty sweet. If you're like, hey guys, I like Batman, they can make a Batman box for you. How about a Spider-Verse box? Easy peasy. Reach out to them, go to their website or go to their social medias and they'll uh, chat you up and you can nerd out with them and just nerds talking to nerds and they'll set you up with your own comic chest and then you'll get it pretty soon after that because their shipping is concise and quick and just right, unlike some other companies that never ship on time. All right, that's Comic Chest, good times. See ya, subscribe.